this autonomous vehicle is capable of lane detection, collision avoidance, and stop sign recognition, uh, all while propelling itself with electric motors uh, and being able to control where it's going and, uh, and uh, whether it's going forward or not. And uh, the whole system is making use of a camera connected to a, a Raspberry Pi, uh, which is running an algorithm capable of real-time stop sign recognition and lane detection. Uh, and this vehicle is also capable of forward object avoidance, uh, which means the vehicle is going to detect when an object is less than 10 centimeters in front of it, and the vehicle will stop until the uh, obstruction is gone. Uh, this, of course, is while uh, the vehicle is navigating a road course represented by some tape we have placed down, uh, and it's going to remain within the bounds of the course we have set down, all while performing these tasks. Um, so, the first step is that it takes in the uh, frames coming into the camera and it sends it to the Raspberry Pi. It does a canny edge detection, Gaussian filter, um, and also uh, um, uh, Hoff transform for the uh, lane detections. And then it sends a serial connection to the motors to tell it to turn left or turn right. Um, and then for the stop sign, it does a hard cascade, runs through and detects a stop sign. And then it programs the wheels from the Arduino to stop. And then for the object detection, um, this is all done in the, uh, on the Arduino. So if it senses, like uh, Matthew mentioned, um, an object that is within 10 centimeters, it will program the wheels to stop. And then that's um, done through the IR sensor. And then uh, someone can take over the materials and a technical overview. Uh, first being the lane detection. Um, we were able to achieve uh, lane detection for a project by utilizing those three uh, concepts, uh, one being Gaussian filtering and canny edge detection. Uh, those two in combination uh, effectively eliminates noise um, and it will also increase our processing time. Um, and the main concept that we utilized for lane detection was a probabilistic hue transform, which basically uh, looks at an image and outputs two endpoints uh, of a line in a XY coordinate system. Uh, with those two coordinates given, we were able to uh, calculate um, the angle at which the lines were uh, detected. And we found the average uh, angle of the image uh, of the frame that's coming in. And then we were able to uh, create a threshold to determine whether the average slope of that image is uh, greater than our straight uh, angle threshold. Um, as for the stop sign detection, we also utilize the Gaussian and the candy edge detection filtering. Um, however, the main concept we utilized here was the hard cascade method, which basically utilizes machine learning to detect positive or the desired image. Um, that program was fed uh, a lot of positive and negative images, um, which uh, in return, learned to detect our uh, desirable image, which in this case was uh, a stop sign. And for object avoidance, we used um, the IR sensor and the voltage feedback that we received from that sensor. Uh, we tested and programmed our code so that I believe the car would stop if it detects any object within a 10 centimeter uh, radius. And if Manal is in. Yeah, sorry, I was on mute. <laughs> um, so yeah, now, uh, now we're going to move on to the engineering challenges um, that we faced through, uh, through this project, the course um, of the semester. So this project was actually pretty hard. Um, we received a lot of challenges along the way. Um, actually, Pretty recently, there was smoke coming out of the board, and we had to figure out um, 
if there was enough voltage coming through the parts. But after reassembling, you know, the circuit and putting the parts together again, uh, we were able to not only uh, like reboot the device, but also get our programs to work. In terms of software, I think the hardest part was uh, figuring out the accuracy of the stop sign detection and making sure that the car stops at a given distance and speed towards the stop sign. Uh, another hard part was um, the development of the lane detection algorithm. Primarily, it was um, turning the vehicle like left and right. Uh, we were able to make it move forward and back and stop, uh, but when it was turning left and right, we had to make sure that it wouldn't make a sharp turn because if it goes too much to the left, it would. Um, we had to place the camera at a certain angle so that it could see the lanes. Um, another problem that we had was with the serial connection. Uh, we wanted to make sure that uh, when it detects the stop sign that the, the Arduino file, the .ino file, would actually stop the vehicle for, uh, for at least three seconds and then um, just like shut down the Python file. Um, so yeah, those were some of the challenges that we faced. Um, so if we had more time, or I think for the future development, um, we would utilize Hard Cascade and go beyond the stop sign. Uh, our scope was already too broad for doing a lot of things, as you can see, like lane detection, stop sign detection, and object avoidance. But maybe if we had a couple more weeks or maybe a month, we could maybe, uh, you know, do other traffic signals such as, you know, traffic lights and yield signs. So yeah, that's our autonomous vehicle.